Good day teachers, welcome back sa ating new video. Today, we're going to make the e-class record, make some changes according to the DepEd Memorandum 42 series of 2020. So, going to download the official e-class record, kung meron mo kayong official e-class record, and then you're worried about the fourth quarter or the fourth reading period. So, I'm going to show to you how to edit it. Okay po. So here, I open the uh, three browsers, one for the DepEd Memorandum 42 series of 2020, the other one is the official eclass record templates, and the other one is the Ed order number 8 series of 2015. So here, ito po yung transmutation table sa DepEd Order 2015, DepEd number 8, series of 2015. It, ito naman po yung bago. So, magka, magkaiba po talaga sila. So, here, I'm going to show to you how to edit that one. Punta po tayo dito sa ating official e-class record template. Tapos po, for this example, I'm going to download, let's say, Araling Panipunan. 4, 5, 6. You can do this one. You can do this one um, from grades 1 to 10. Iba po yung core subjects sa senior high school at iba pa yung other subjects nila. Kasi sa, sa nakita ko na transmutation table, tatlong transmutation table ang kanilang in-release. One for grades 1 to 10. The other one is senior high school core subjects and the other one is senior high school subjects. So, for this example po, we're going to focus only for grades 1 to 10. And for this example, like I mentioned, I'm going to download Araling Palipunan 4 to 6. Then, we're going to edit is 1. So, here, I'm going to open the file. <coughs> Don't forget to click Enable Editing. Tapos, uh, Araling Palipunan 4th quarter, quarter 4. As you can see po, yung ribbons po natin, um, may ibang uh, functions na din natin maklik. So, all we need to do, punta po tayo sa review and click unprotect. Okay po. So, review, first step, review, then click unprotect. Tapos, dito, protect sheet na po siya. Hindi, hindi na po siya unprotect. So, here, ang Susunod po nating gagawin is pumunta tayo sa formulas. So, you can skip this step. Tapos, titingnan po natin kung ano po yung ginamit niya dito. So, here, sa quarterly grade, meron po siyang transmutation table po dito. So, ito po yung functions na ginamit niya. So, all we need to do, we're going to locate this transmutation table um, sa ang worksheet po ito. So, here, in the um, name manager, meron po siyang transmutation table po dito. So, here. Tapos, dito, refers to do not delete. Ito po yung pangalan ng worksheet niya. Kung saan, yung transmutation table. So, I'm going to close this one. Tapos, we're going to find the do not delete worksheet. So, as you can see, meron po dito input data, AP, AP underscore Q1, AP underscore Q2, AP underscore Q3, AP underscore Q4, and summary of quarterly grades. Wala po siyang do not delete na worksheet dito. So, ano pong gagawin natin? Tapos, if we're going to click unhide, wala po, ah, ito po. Meron po siya, ah, here now in case po in case hindi po ninyo makita ito itong do not delete in in this example nakita natin once we press unhide nakita natin na merong do not delete kapag sa inyong worksheet po hindi nyo nakita yung do not delete ang gagawin nyo is right click view code tapos for this example yung do not delete sheet nasa worksheet 7 so click worksheet 7 tapos dito sa visible 
uh, and for this example, visible na po siya. Siguro ang nakalagay dyan is 02. So here, um, we're going to change that one to sheet visible. Close. Okay po. So here, ito po yung transmutation table na ating papalitan. Sa... Uh, papalitan po natin yung transmutation table na ginamit sa official grading sheet dito kasi ang ginamit na transmutation table existing na ito is yung yung nasa DepEd order number 8 series of 2015 so here meron po akong ginawa niya new transmutation table base po ito sa DepEd memorandum um 42 series of 2020 so I'm going to post na lang po this this grade sheet uh, this transmutation table sorry in my description down below if you wish to download this um, excel file so ang gagawin nyo is you copy this one copy control C and then paste this one in the transmutation table so ganun lang po no need the formulas automatic na po yung quarterly grade is um, ma-appear na dito so ang susunod nating gagawin is we're going to change the initial grade okay po so meron pong naka-highlight dito as you can see so we need to delete this one Tama po yung circulating video na sa ibang YouTube channel. And we're going to type equal. Tapos, here, here, we're going to click this one. Then, hit plus symbol in your keyboard. Then, hit this one. Click this one. So, as you can see, meron po siyang code blue, blue. Tapos, anong color dito? Red or pink? Red, red. Then, press enter. So, value po siya. Value. So, all we need to do po is we need to type na lang po the scores. So, 20, 20, 20. Let's say 16, 18, 20. 20, 20, 20. 16, 15, 20. Okay po. So, yun. Tapos dito, if error, yun nga po. If is error, so we need to delete this one. We need to delete this one. So yun. Nakuha na po natin yung value. Let's say, the student got 69.50 so 69.50 yung 69.50 na yun is it belongs to 91 so yun 91 ang gagawin nyo is you drag this two you highlight this two and then you drag it down value, 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 value so value po siya kasi wala po siyang wala po siyang entry po dito ok po so as you can see po value po siya all you need to do po is I'm going to show to you another method para po matanggal po yung value nya, naging value po siya kasi wala po siyang entry so all you need to do po, you type na lang if error tapos tanggalin po yung uh, tanggalin po yung plus sign dito change it to comma tapos type here sum open parenthesis close parenthesis po dito tapos comma tapos quotation quotation tapos close question uh, close parenthesis so here double click plus sign automatic na po siya na magzi-zero po yung value nya so likewise here so pwede po natin itong um, I'm going to teach you lang po how to do this one so for this example um, 
I already uh, done teaching you how to make changes in okay po, in fourth quarter. So if you like this video, please do subscribe to my channel and click the bell icon for more video updates. Thank you and see you for the next video.